please subscribe to our channel and don't let us comment and like the video. Snakes climb trees without the aid of hands, feet, claws, or sticky toe pads. They also crawl, burrow, swim, and even glide through the air. Whatever they do, their body plan doesn't alter. Water snakes don't have fins, flying snakes don't have wings, nor do burrowing snakes have claws. The rare snake of the tree of paradise can fly tens of meters in the air, and then circumvent by 90 degrees to change its direction. When it flies from a high position, its body ripples in the air in a series of strange twists, and lands straight up a few meters away. Jake Sushaw, who works in biomedical engineering at the Virginia Tech Technical Institute, has studied these flying snakes for more than 20 years, and considered their acrobatic movements a mechanical biological miracle. While Sushaw admits that snakes do not fly practically, he sees that their strategic glides are still a wonderful achievement for a non-party animal. By creating a three-dimensional model of the air ripples of this snake, it turns out that these vibrations are necessary for the dynamic stability of flight, making the snakes vertically slip for a longer period. Without these aerial acrobatics, team results indicate that the snake of the tree of paradise will not go away at all, and it is possible that his head will first head to earth, or land in another dangerous direction. The study began in 2015, when researchers transformed the Cube, a four-story black box theater with 23 high-speed cameras used to capture drama and dance movements, into an indoor glide arena. The stars of the show in this case, however, were the snakes, placing infrared reflective tape on their bodies at various locations. Researchers were able to use the motion capture system to record their movements from all angles. Using between 11 and 17 points of reference from head to tail, the team watched as seven different paradise tree snakes jumped from an 8.3 meter high oak branch to an artificial tree below. With this number of reference points, we could get a smooth representation of the snake and an accurate one explains soccer capturing data from over 130 live glides the team built a continuous three-dimensionally accurate representation of the snake and its aerodynamics by manipulating this dynamic model the researchers then tested how certain ripples of movement both horizontally and vertically impact the snake's fight when undulating the team noticed that a gliding snake's smaller vertical wave went at twice the rate of its larger horizontal wave, the same frequency as a sidewinder snake, which traverses the land in a freakily similar way. This undulation, the authors explain, is a bit like a frisbee's spin. It keeps the snake upright while gliding through the air, rather than being quickly unbalanced by the forces of drag and lift.